Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection. From the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean, we invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John 1, 29-34. The next day, seeing Jesus coming towards him, John said, Look, there is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. This is the one I spoke of when I said, A man is coming after me who ranks before me because he existed before me. I did not know him myself, and yet it was to reveal him to Israel that I came baptizing with water. John also declared, I saw the Spirit coming down on him from heaven like a dove and resting on him. I did not know him myself, but he who sent me to baptize with water had said to me, The man on whom you see the Spirit come down and rest is the one who is going to baptize with the Holy Spirit. Yes, I have seen and I am the witness that he is the chosen one of God. This is the Son of God. Behold the Lamb of God. The interaction between John the Baptist and Jesus was indeed very deep, way beyond the blood relationship. When Mary visited Elizabeth, the child in her womb leapt with joy. John understood his role in being the forerunner of the Savior. Zechariah also confirmed this by the canticle he sang when he regained speech and named him John. John preached repentance to prepare the people to meet the Messiah. When Jesus approached John to be baptized, the latter protested, stating it should be the other way. However, John listened to the voice of God and obeyed. He pointed out to the people, here comes the Lamb of God. John's disciples were disappointed that he was not the Messiah when he told them to go and ask Jesus if he was the Messiah. Jesus' response was, Go back and tell John about the works you see performed by me. Let us therefore resolve to listen to the voice of God, draw closer to Jesus, and be involved in the charitable works in this new year. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.